My name is Xing Xilin. I'm an assistant professor at the McGovern Institute for Brand Research at MIT. So at McGovern, my lab is interested in how the connections in a brain called synapses are modified by our daily experience. This is a process that's happening during development and uh, throughout our life. And th this is called the plasticity of the brain. The type of connections in the brain can be roughly divided into, into two kinds. One kind called excitation. Those are the ones that will tell the target to relay the signal. The ones that are called inhibition, the ones that we are interested in, are the ones to uh, tell the target to stop firing. Like everything in life, the activity in the brain has to be balanced. If there's too much excitation, the brain circuit will become unstable. On the other hand, if too much inhibition is in a circuit, the circuit will get shut down and stop processing information. The goal of my lab is to identify key molecules and pathways that are important for the plasticity of the brain. When we experience something, when we try to record a memory, the information is transmitted as a form of electrical activity. And the electrical activity activates gene expression that will make new proteins that allow the brain to store the information permanently. This is the key to understand the process called learning and memory, which is fundamental for our everyday life. So before I started, it has been known that an inhibition in the brain can be constantly modified, just like the excitatory connections. But what genes and what pathways are important for the modification of inhibition is relatively unknown. So that's why I decided to tackle this problem by identifying new genes and pathways that are important for modification of inhibition. So we have found a genetic program regulated by a transcription factor called MPAS4 that's important for modifying inhibitory connections in the brain following experience. Because MPAS4 initiates the gene expression program that specifically modifies the inhibitory connections in the brain, when this program is not activated correctly, then inhibition in the brain is not gonna be modified correctly. There's a very strong correlation between neurological disorders and the imbalance between excitation and inhibition. So it's not surprising that some of the genes that are regulated by MPAS4 have been implicated in these neurological disorders such as autism. As scientists doing basic research, we're driven by scientific curiosity, but we also draw our satisfaction from uh, knowing that our research will contribute to the body of scientific knowledge and make the life of the people better.